Okay, here's a tutorial I promised you last week. I'm Marek Mulacek from SaiTrain.co.uk. Uh, let's have a look. Last week I showed you this image uh, here. This kind of effect, the 3D effect within Photoshop CS5 Extended. You can see this depth of field is very shallow. Most of the content is blurred and it's in a 3D in here. It's just a screenshot of a website. And I'm going to show you how to create it now here. So first of all, we need to make sure that we have Photoshop open. So I've got a Photoshop open here, because I'm going to use a screenshot. Okay, now I'm going to open my web browser and just use one of the websites to take a screenshot of it. Okay, I'll use the same example, the same website. And I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm on PC, so I'm just using print screen button. Okay, and I'll minimize it. I'm back in Photoshop. I'll do File New to create a new document. Uh, because I had Photoshop open already, Photoshop detects that uh, whether I, well, it's asking me whether I want to use the clipboard because it detects that there's something in the clipboard. So the clipboard preset 1280 by 100 is my screen resolution. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just press OK. This will create a new document that's 1280 by 100 pixels. And now I'm ready to paste it. So I'll just use Control V to paste the image. So that's the image. Looks good. Now I'm going to make the ca my canvas smaller to get more space so I can rotate the image. So I'll go to Image Canvas Size and I'm going to shrink it. I'll change that to pixels. Now change canvas. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Let's make that 800 by 600 pixels. Okay. I'll just press OK. Yes, I want to crop it. Okay. Now I didn't crop the image. The image is still here. I'll just resize the canvas. So that's OK. Now the next step will be to convert this layer into a 3D layer. So with the layer 1 selected, I'll go to 3D, New 3D Postcard from Layer. This will convert this layer into a 3D layer. Okay, that's my 3D layer. Now I can use the 3D tools. Okay, because I'm going to use 3D Object Rotate tool to rotate this layer. So I'm going to rotate it a bit like that. Okay, looks nice. Okay, I've got uh, some other 3D tools here as well. For example, I can use the 3D, uh, let's see, 3D Scale tool to scale it. So I'll make it slightly bigger. Okay, looks good. Now I'll jump back to 3D Pan tool to pan it. Let's see. That looks okay. Looks good. Okay, so I've got my 3D layer. Now go to the camera tools and I'll select um, 3D zoom camera tool. Okay. Now in the properties panel, there's a section called depth of field blur. Okay. And you can see my cursor changed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to define the point of focus in the image. For example, I'm going to click here. Okay. And I'll so let's say I'll apply a blur of about two. Let's make it two. Okay. And I'll just click here. Oh hold on. And now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold the old kind of keyboard. So my cursor changes in target icon like with the healing brush tool and clone stamp tool and I'll just click and this will create a point of focus okay and I'm going to increase the blur to let's say about 5.6 now you can see how the content starts being blurred here I'll move that even more I'll, let's say I'll go to about 8 you can see how the content gets blurred. Okay. Let's go to maximum. Right, so I'm going to blur on 10. Most content is blurred. Now I can also move this distance slider here. Okay. Okay. Which will move the point of focus. You can see how the point of focus changes. Okay. In this case, I want to focus on this text here. Now it's bit hard to move it like that, so that's why I just prefer to use the old key on my keyboard and I'll just click on it. It's just easier. Okay, so this corner is all blurred 
and as here in focus okay this is the first tutorial in this series I'm going to do some more tutorials some more exciting features but that will be for today thank you for watching once again I'm Marek Mulatric from SciTrain.co.uk go to SciTrain.co.uk for Adobe Certified Training or visit the blog photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk thank you for watching